so I'm kind of trying to find a way to work Pizza Guy Adventure as into a, a format of it being a podcast. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be... I'm not going to name drop here because name dropping is one of the things that caused me to not post one of my other videos. But I'm working with somebody who... Oh, has and I'm guilty of it too. We've really overthought all this uh, YouTube stuff and this social media and podcasting and all that. And I, I, I got someone who kind of wants me to conform to a certain way that things are done on the internet. The way that you see people talk on these videos, where they're talking over pictures, like there'll be pictures of stuff, and then they're talking. So you don't really need to watch it, but you can listen to it. I don't want to do that. I don't like it. Like, I'm trying to make my shit special. Like, I'm trying to make my stuff not look like anybody else's. I watch Vladimir watch all these people on YouTube, and I don't like the quick cuts. That's why you don't see me put them in. I could. I could sit there and edit quick cuts into my stuff. It really isn't that hard to do. But I don't like that. It's like... It's like you're watching somebody have seizures or like somebody on meth and they're all over the place. And every all these people's videos are that big. I don't need to do what other people are doing because obviously it's already been done. People don't sit there and watch Jimmy Fallon and Colbert and and uh, James, James Corden. I don't even know his name. All these Conan. People didn't watch all these guys and... They don't have to like have quick cuts during their monologues. You watch their shit all the way through. So why should I have to put quick cuts into my stuff? And why should I have to to put all these? Why should I have to talk over a, a, a video of something I was playing when I can show you the words that are coming out of my mouth? So basically, I kind of want to use that as a launching pad to use this as a podcast and to make it a podcast. I got to stick to a topic apparently, even though I just shot one on Thursday and posted it. I tried to talk about dating and Vladimir kept on interrupting and also I was on Facebook Live. So, because I wanted people to be able to communicate with me as if it was like a radio show or something that people could interact with me on the spot. That caused me to get sidetracked because I'm playing guitar. Like my brother's sitting there telling me to sing a song and people are controlling the flow of the trying to control the flow of it so i i got sidetracked and i didn't even get to finish talking about what i wanted to but i don't want to just pick topics that are dead in the water part of me wants to just be passionate about everything and go off and talk shit the way i do because other people like like joe santagato that dude just talks shit and shalane loves that fucker like, I don't, but she likes him, so I watch him, and there's not that many people out there that are charming without talking shit. Like, the only people who are charming without talking shit are doing absolutely nothing. Like, like, like you hear me talk about Wolfie Raps and all the time, because Vlad watches these guys, and their videos are just them just doing... It's like jackass with nobody getting hurt is what it is, and they're not even, like, that funny or good-looking or anything. These guys are just... It's like they're letting you hang out with them, but you, you aren't part of the group. Like, hang out with us. Like, I don't want that either. Like, I want it to be like, and, and if you hang out with me, I engage you. Like, I don't just like to talk at people. I want to hear what people have to say. So I don't know how I'm going to make this a podcast and make it interactive unless I just continue off of things I've already said and done. So I guess my first question to everybody watching is, do you guys like my format or do you think I should change it? If you were me, what would make everybody want to watch my stuff more? What would make you guys feel like now I feel like it's my podcast? Like I can try to ask more questions and but I need more responses in the comment section. And I, I want to work on this before I start getting hundreds of thousands of viewers to where it's I don't want to have to respond to people just talking shit. I want to actually respond to the people that care and are watching it. And right now, it's only people that care that are watching, which is good. So I want to take advantage of that now and ask everybody, what do you think you could, what do you think I could do to make this a better podcast for your guys' enjoyment? And I guess part of that is let me know, let me know 
what you guys like to watch besides me. Like for me, for Shalane and I, I don't even know if it's fair to say because this what I'm making, I don't even like watching myself honestly. Like I don't watch people talk at the camera and I'm asking people to do it. My favorite thing to watch with Shalane is Dr. Pimple Popper. And she's got a thing going. Like she full on gets on there and gets in people's skin skin imperfections, pops pimples, like cuts lipomas out, all this, and it's awesome in the way she talks. Not only is she good looking, but she has this real soothing voice that's cool to hear and um we also watch a lot of Watch Mojo's top ten. I love top ten lists, but I don't want to do that because all top ten lists do is spark debate that you don't want. And let alone top ten list, uh, Watch Mojo does music. Let me use this right now as a quick platform. Watch Mojo needs to stay the fuck out of music countdowns because they do really good countdowns that spark good conversation and are fun to kind of bat around the ideas. And then Watch Mojo starts doing a music one, and then they start sounding like a drunk bitch at the bar. Like, they sound retarded. Like, so, Watch Mojo, I hope somebody's watching this. I mean, you guys got millions more subscribers compared to me, but I'm saying right now, Watch Mojo needs to stay the fuck out of music countdown. Do you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about? Like, they're on a list of 10 groups we wish would go away, like saying Green Day and all these bands that are awesome. Dave Matthews Band. These bands are awesome. Like, Watch Mojo, you guys need to shut the fuck up about music. And I really appreciate what you do otherwise. So, so there's that. But anyway, I'm at my delivery already here at the Travelodge. But I'm going to keep this thing going as soon as I get back because they want it. My guy I'm working with wants it to be a podcast. He wants me to ramble. I can ramble, but I don't feel like rambling. But I'm going to do it. Because apparently people like rambling. Or let me know if you like rambling or not. Shit. Uh, you know what? I'm, I want to get back in my car. I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to get back in my car. I'm going to listen to Dan Lebetard. And I'm going to do what I want. Like, Because I need to do what I want with my day. Because I already had an annoying day today. So, fuck that. I'm going to do what I want when I get back. And if I think of something beneficial, I'll say it. Otherwise, this thing's staying off.